Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Mathematics 9709 Pure Mathematics 3. Our topic is Differential Equations. Differential Equations is a large field of mathematics which is what follows after your study of calculus. In A-Level Mathematics, we'll be looking at an introduction to differential equations. A first point to note is that the key to understanding and solving differential equations is your ability to perform integration. In the A-level context, we'll be looking at first-order differential equations. And you can think of a first-order differential equation as the derivative of some function that you don't know. Your task is to integrate to find the original function. Looking at topic 3.8, differential equations from the A-level 9709 Pure Mathematics 3 syllabus, our outcomes are formulate a simple statement involving a rate of change as a differential equation, which means that you'll be given a word problem and you'll need to be able to structure that word problem into a differential equation. Find by integration a general form of solution for a first order differential equation in which the variables are separable. Separation of variables is the technique that we're going to learn to work with differential equations. The concept of general form of solution indicates the plus C, the constant of integration that we've already learned about in integration. Use an initial condition to find a particular solution, also a concept that we've seen in integration. If we're given initial conditions, we can put those into the general solution, the solution with the constant of integration, to then arrive at a particular solution of the differential equation. And finally, interpret the solution of a differential equation in the context of a problem being modeled by the equation. You need to be able to understand and interpret the context you're dealing with in regards to a particular differential equation, be able to identify the significance of the result, and be able to interpret the general behavior of the differential equation. And in our upcoming videos, we'll look at examples of all of these concepts.